Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless, toxic gas that can be fatal. The best way to protect yourself and others from carbon monoxide poisoning is run the engine at idle only in well-ventilated areas, heat the cabin or use a stove only when there is proper ventilation, make sure extensions and cabin areas, including canvas awnings, are well-ventilated, use only motors or fuel-burning devices that are certified or designed for marine use and make sure that they are used only in well-ventilated areas. Install a carbon monoxide detector designed for boats and check the battery before each departure. Be aware that carbon monoxide can build up when two vessels are tied together, you are docked alongside a seawall, your load causes the bow to ride high, a fuel burning device or engine is running while your vessel is idling, and be especially aware that carbon monoxide can be trapped between the pontoons of your boat, making it dangerous if there are swimmers around. Fuel burning devices. Gas vapors and leaking propane or butane gases are heavier than air and will quickly seep into the lower parts of your boat. They are very hard to dissipate and are highly explosive. Onboard devices that run on propane or butane gas may represent more of a risk than gasoline. Here are some tips for using propane and butane safely. Use a fuel burning device only in a well ventilated area. Secure portable appliances and heaters so that the unexpected movement doesn't cause a leak. Secure gas cylinders and tanks in a well ventilated area. Appliances and systems should be designed for marine use and installed in accordance with marine standards as well as to the manufacturer's instructions. Always keep watch over open frame heating, cooking, and refrigeration systems. Ignition protection. Boats with a gasoline engine or using propane fueled devices must have ignition protection electrical devices. These parts are designed and made in such a way that, under normal operating conditions, they will not ignite gasoline or propane fumes or vapors. This device prevents the sparks from coming in contact with the fumes while in use. Only use electrical components that are clearly labeled as ignition protected. Many older boats, and even some new ones, have been fitted with converted car or truck engines. If you are not sure that your engine is equipped with ignition protected parts, have it certified by a certified marine technician. The mechanic can tell you if a replacement part or related work done to the engine has put you or others at risk because it is not ignition protected.